Like many of us, I've spent years looking but not seeing. And that ends today when I reveal with you the secret of the hidden BNF. For those of you that don't know me, I'm Mike. I'm a GP in Manchester. Sorry to interrupt here. This is the first time we're going to do a free giveaway. So if we get up to 100 subscribers, that means GP on the Move will get its own personalized web address on YouTube, which is pretty exciting for me at least. So all you have to do is click that subscribe button if you haven't subscribed already. And once we get up to 100 subscribers, I'm going to choose five subscribers at random and you will get a free copy of the audiobook GP on the Move. If that's something you're interested in, please click the subscribe button and enjoy the rest of the video. Okay, and I'm also a university tutor at one of the medical schools nearby. And in this short video, I'm going to share with you a super easy way to access the British National Drug Formulary in EMIS and also give you some examples of efficient ways to use it. Finally, if you stick around to the end, I'll show you an amazing app to look for very specific drug interactions. So let's get started. Again, exposing myself to judgment here, but I have never really revised or studied the BNF, much like I wouldn't really revise or study a dictionary. And I'm still completely baffled by the waste of paper of publishing a new book version every six months. But I am also acutely aware that there are a lot of GPs out there who like to get a new BNF every six months. And that is the beauty of diversity in primary care. I personally have always used the online version along with all the other resources that I have already shared with you in a previous video. And if that's something you're interested in, well, the link is on the screen now. I use the BNF primarily to avoid killing patients with lethal doses of prescriptions. So let me show you how I do that, or rather not do that, as in not killing patients. The BNF is hidden in two places and you can access it while reviewing the patient's notes or when you're issuing a drug. So to get into the medication tab, here's a really good shortcut and it's F9. And this is where the looking and not seeing comes into play. On the right hand side, drug info, and this is where the BNF lives. So at this stage, just pop in the drug that you're interested in, like amoxicillin, go down to indication and dose, and here it is. And if you want to learn more about a specific drug that the patient is on, just click on that drug, and again, go to drug info. And this is the BNF page specifically for amlodipine. Another place where the BNF is hidden is while you're issuing drugs. Let's go into a consultation. And let's say I spoke to Tilly Tester's mom. Tilly Tester is three, it sounds like she has otitis media, I want to give her some amoxicillin. Click on medication, and I can never really remember the dose of amoxicillin in children. So what you can do is just bring up amoxicillin, and then this is the other place the BNF is hidden, under drug information, and it will automatically bring up amoxicillin for me. Scroll down to indication and dose, and then scroll down to otitis media. And here it is, she's three years old, so she'll need 250 milligrams three times a day. I'll go back to my amoxicillin, bring up this one. I mean, there are a lot of red and yellow alerts. Well, she'll probably be okay. And just click on the dose. Another great way to use the BNF is checking for the dose of drugs that you might not be that familiar with. So let's say duloxetine. I don't know exactly what dose this patient should be on. So if I go to the BNF, and click on indications and dose, I have 60 milligrams once daily. What I can do is I can highlight this, control C, control V, and I've effectively copy and pasted the dose into the dosage box. I wanna share with you one more tip that our pharmacist Pete showed us as well. And again, F9. And say you want to find the drug that was issued in the past, but you might not even remember the name, you know it's a cream. A good way to do this is click on the search view and just write cream. And you can see all the creams that this patient has been on have come up onto the screen. Finally, I promised you a bonus at the end. This is a tip that I got from an inner city out of hours GP. It's an amazing app and it's called iChart. This is extremely useful for checking for drug interactions for patients who are on HIV treatments. Click on iChart and search for drug interactions. Let's say the patient is on this combination and I want to prescribe allopurinol. And then it comes up with no interaction expected. That's it guys, I hope it was informative. If you did find that useful, give me a thumbs up and like this video and you can leave a comment below. If you'd like to see more videos like these, please subscribe and you can also email me directly. Otherwise, good luck.